So we'll test each voice coil for resistance. We should have around four ohms. It's a good sub. Now when we're checking amplifier speaker outputs, we must check volts AC. That's what you want to see right there. Our amp works. This amp works. And the other one also works. Perfect. Both amps are good. So today we're going to be troubleshooting why our sound system in our Suburban stopped working. A few weeks ago we had the symptoms of a... I'm not sure if you have ever experienced a subwoofer speaker voice coil burning up and failing under power or under load while getting power, continuous power that doesn't, you know, trip out on a fuse or anything, but it is creepy sounding sometimes. Maybe I can find one for you. Anyways, so we thought that they were done, they were blown. But it turns out, every once in a while, they'll come on and then they'll cut back off and come back on, so let's find out why. You always want to check your connections, power connections, and if you're going to be taking anything apart, you got to kill the power to it. But look at what we have here. You got that, and then this right here, that little one, little red one, that's the power for my LC2i. So I think this would definitely cause the cutting in and out. Now, if red was to short across to white, that wouldn't hurt anything because that's remote. So both of those are 12 volt plus. Oh man, look at this. My ground, ground is also messed up. Now then, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect power. Power is gonna be over here. My fusible link is in here. Oh, shit. But pay attention with this thing. You gotta pay attention to this because this is still hot. It's a good idea to disconnect your negative also. But with me, I'm gonna set it. With me, I'm gonna set it just like that and it's gonna chill. Now, I'm gonna clean this up then tighten them, re-tighten them again. I had them tight when I installed it. I guess just the wiggling back and forth, you know, wiggling back and forth, they loosen up. Let's see here. My middle one didn't loosen up. So I was going to try to repair these wires, you know, put new connectors on them and reconnect them, but I actually have another wire that's ready to go that I used before. Plugs right into my LC2i, so I'm just going to use, use these ones since it already has those on it. I just want to make sure that this is all that's wrong with it before I 
go making it more secure. So we're going to plug it in. Right, it's plugged in. Now, one thing I do want to do is ohm out the speakers. So to ohm out your subwoofer voice coils, you've got to disconnect them from the amplifier. Duh. You must have a voltmeter or ohmmeter, whatever. And in this case, this is a dual voice coil subwoofer. I've got it wired in for two ohms per voice coil. So when they are wired as they are, in parallel or in series, whatever, I can't think the right one, they together make one ohm of resistance. I think that's pretty good. I believe this one's okay. I hope it's worth trying putting and applying power to it, tell you that much. All right, I'm gonna leave those disconnected for now. So I'll show y'all what I can do to test the amplifiers next. Nothing. Look, my meter works. Okay, meter works. Between the two, I got nothing. This Q power subwoofer is done. So, with that being said, we'll leave the wires disconnected and we will test the amplifier output. All right, we just want to make sure that everything is okay to apply power. I think it is. That's good. I wonder if my fuse is blue. Probably, uh, probably not because the coil opened instead of short shorting, I think. I don't know. I don't do audio, car audio every day. I'm a AC guy, refrigeration guy now, I guess. Rack refrigeration guy now. Yeah, those are probably all fine. Okay, let's reapply power. I can't record this, but I'm gonna put this Halle back on that Halle. Okay, I'm on. My shit should be on. Okay, that's on. That's on. Okay, I am on. Okay, good. Let us begin. We need some music of some sort. We need a test tone. You can always depend on good old YouTube to give you whatever you need. You guys probably can't hear that, but it's, it is there. Okay. Now, when we're checking amplifier, car amplifier, output, speaker outputs, we must check volts AC. We should have something like 50, uh, I'm not sure exactly. We should have something though. It's hard to do this with one hand, but whatever. That's what we want to see right there. Our amp works. This amp works. Now we got the other one. And the other one also works. Perfect. Both amps are good.
All right, so I'm reconnecting the subwoofer speaker wires to the amplifier, and this is on the working subwoofer. Okay then, so we've got a new speaker, or not new, it's my, it's my spare, okay, my spare. It's been sitting in the attic for a while. You see that pretty little coil down there, voice coil? That's right. So this is the one I'm putting in, in place of this one that I took out. As you can see, we've got a voice coil that is blown. And so you see that wire bouncing around right there? That explains why we had no resistance. It's open circuit. Not a shorted circuit, open circuit, there's a difference. So here, two voice coils, each of them are four ohms. I think earlier I said one ohm, uh, I was wrong. These are actually dual, these are four ohm DVCs. So test each voice coil. So we'll test each voice coil for resistance. We should have around four ohms. So this is a good, this is a good sub. So you get like three and four ohm. Also, if you notice as I'm talking, this resistance changes a lot if this cone moves. And even just speaking like I am now causes it to move enough to affect the resistance. So it's 3.45. But if I start speaking loud, it starts changing a little more. No? Well, let's see. That's just me blowing air on it. So I'm going to get this all set up. And it's going to go in here where it belongs. This box, I made this box like 10 years ago, I think. Maybe 12. It's been a long time. Now, I'm not going to be able to get this on camera, but I've got to get this speaker into this box and I've got to get these wires onto either one of these terminals, posts, uh, and I've got to do all that without any of it coming apart. It's tricky, it can be done, but I can't record it. Pretty much like that. That's not really the best connection on this red one. I would prefer to get... Yeah, I'd prefer to get a little more. There. I got it. At least it's uh it's poking out the other side now. Looks like we got some wires that bypassed around, but oh well. And where you can't probably see very much, but you get pretty cool things happening. Yeah, the camera doesn't pick it up. Well, the camera doesn't seem to want to pick it up, but they're working. They do work. So, I don't have any videos, y'all, of, um, of, it, of it hitting hard, but my son, he's got this channel. And he really likes, uh, he's done a lot of videos about it, so, you know. You can, I'll link it to, he's in, I'll link it in the description. Um, but you can also go to my about page, my channels page. And you can, uh, you know, check the videos out if you'd like. He's a good kid. He really likes this stuff. And that's the alternator. <laughs> it's a really good working system. But yeah, go check his videos out. He'd like that. 